Thank you all for coming in on this Sunday uh, for the uh, Glancon Transplant Series talk. So I'm going to start with a, um, a brief uh, introduction uh, to the uh, BAMF classification for acute uh, T cell mediated rejection. I'm going to talk about the strengths of the classification. And then I'm going to focus uh, considerably on the limitations of the classification and perhaps a little bit about uh, how this uh, might be uh, improved in uh, upcoming years. Um, I apologize, I need to get this reinstated here. Um, Inter-observer variability. Uh, I'm gonna talk some about borderline lesions, about arterial lesions, which uh, have been shown that these might be related to TCMR, but also antibody mediated rejection and finish with a section on chronic active T cell mediated rejection. Now, uh, the, uh, there are um, two major lesions that we see in acute T cell mediated rejection. The most common that we see is characterized by interstitial inflammation and tubulitis. The interstitial inflammation is primarily uh, lymphocytic and it's frequently accompanied by interstitial edema and it is accompanied by tubulitis. And BAMF scores tubulitis by the number of lymphocytes in the most severely involved cross tubular cross section. Tubulitis uh, is characterized by lymphocytes invading beneath the tubular basement membrane. And as pathologists, we view the tubular basement membrane with either a PAS or a silver stain. And these lymphocytes can sometimes be distinguished by dense nuclei with a perinuclear halo. This, um, here we see in this tubule, there are, uh, there are five lymphocytes in this tubular cross section. And there are cases where there may be much more than this here, more than 10 lymphocytes per tubular cross section. The other lesion that is important in diagnosing TCMR is uh, intimal arteritis or endarteritis in which there is infiltration of mononuclear uh, leukocytes directly beneath the endothelium of arteries, and please note this has to be arteries, not arterioles, arteries with at least two uh, smooth muscle cell layers. Uh, there can be as few as just one or two uh, lymphocytes uh, beneath the endothelium here with this elongated cell, or there can be many. Um, when there is, uh, this is a case of relatively mild intimal uh, arteritis in which most of the luminal area is preserved. But here we see a much more severe uh, case of intimal arteritis in which here we see the uh, endothelium and most of the lumen is occluded by these cells as well as some edema fluid directly beneath uh, the endothelium. So this is a severe intimal arteritis. In rare cases, there is transmural arteritis in which the inflammation sometimes accompanied by fibrinoid necrosis, which we see here as this reddish stain on this Masson's trichrome stain, this uh, inflammation and necrosis can go through the entire vessel wall. And this is the most severe form of arteritis. Cell-mediated rejection is referred to frequently as T-cell-mediated rejection or TCMR because the cells involved in the process are primarily T-lymphocytes. These T-lymphocytes stain with the immunohistochemical marker CD3. And we can see here in this case that the cells involved by tubulitis are primarily these CD3 positive cells. And the same is true for intimal arteritis, although in some cases, these T cells are admixed with macrophages. The BAMF classification for T 
TCMR, or at least acute TCMR, hasn't really changed that much since BAMF 19.